Hey, this is Sridhar from oxyextras.com. This tutorial, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show how we can set up a mobile responsive menu in Oxygen using Oxyextras. Uh, this is the demo site where you can see that on the desktop we have the standard uh, menu using the menu component of Oxygen. And from 1120 pixels and below, it is going to collapse into uh, the hamburger with the text menu. And when that is clicked or tapped, it is going to show the menu uh, like this, where the user can basically expand and collapse um, the menus and submenus instead of the default modal um, uh, approach of oxygen and at smaller widths it is going to appear below the logo and uh, this is how it is going to appear in mobiles okay so let's start um, and use Oxy Extras to convert this standard menu into a mobile responsive menu. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically editing uh, the site-wide main catch-all template with Oxygen. And this is where I already have um, the header using the header builder component and this currently has one header row with the logo at the left um, and the menu at the right So the first thing that we are going to do is to add a burger trigger component. Uh, right below this menu component. So if you notice that um, there is nothing appearing under extras uh, section. So we need to go to Oxy Extra settings and make sure that this burger trigger and slide menu are enabled. After that you can reload your template, the main template. And select the menu and under add extras click on that burger trigger and let's reduce the size of this by changing the scale to say 0.7 and let us also add the text menu so you can do that by going to button text and entering menu here Okay, now since we want this, um, the trigger, the menu burger trigger to appear only at a smaller breakpoint, let us initially set this display to none. So I'm going to go to advanced layout and set display to none. Okay, so let's refresh the front end and let's go to 1121 pixels and you can see that 1121 and above it is basically going to show the desktop menu. At 1120 it is going to collapse and uh, show the standard menu components hamburger like this. So we do not want this to appear from 1120 and below. 
select that menu component and switch to the breakpoint 1120 pixels and below and now we can set its display to none and we need to set the display of the burger trigger to block so that it becomes visible okay so at 1120 pixels and below now you can see that um, the standard menu components uh, hamburger is now replaced uh, with our um, oxy extras burger triggers menu okay so what we want is that when this is clicked uh, we want the slide menu to appear uh, so let us select the header builder and add a new row and inside this row we are going to add the slide menu so by default it puts that in the left let us move it to the center and let us set its width to 100 percent And also let us do some adjustments to the, the spacing of the menu items so that they don't appear so close to each other. So I'm going to go into menu items and spacing and set the top and bottom padding to 12 pixels. And if you click on this triangle and you see the submenu items, you can see that they are not uh, indented. So let's go to uh, submenus, spacing, and set a margin of 40 pixels so that uh, the submenu items are indented like that. And let us also change uh, the current menu item, the active menu items color uh, to one of these blue colors so that it stands out, you know, uh, which page you are currently on. Okay. So what we want is that this actually not appear on page load. So let us set the state on page load to hidden. And if you have more than uh, one menu, you need to make sure that you have selected the correct menu here. I'm just trying to figure out why this is not why this is not going away when you click on hidden anyway let us save it and see just refresh this home page and click on this menu and it is working fine Okay, so basically that is the uh, that is how you can uh, set up a mobile responsive menu in Oxygen using Oxy Extras using the burger trigger and slide menu components. Um, the idea is to basically put the burger trigger right next to the menu, and at the breakpoint where you want the uh, the standard menu components burger to not appear, you set its display to none, and you set the display of burger trigger to block, which would initially be hidden okay and in a new header row you would add the slide menu in the row center uh, row and you can configure it and automatically the trigger is set 
to expand and collapse um, the slide menu. I hope you found this helpful. Bye for now.